Thanks for joining us today for Coffee Break CRM. My name is Kristen, and today we're going to go ahead and discuss how to generate an order record from within an activated quote in CRM. As you can see, I'm currently inside of my quote record, and it's activated. All the fields are read-only. I can't make any changes to them without choosing to make a revision. Note that you can only create an order from within an activated quote. You can't do this from within a draft form. You have to activate it before you generate the order. When I'm ready, I can go ahead and come up to the user interface ribbon at the top of the quote form and click create order. What this will do is it'll pop up with a brand new window that says create order at the top. It'll default my status reason to one. Clearly there's no other options. I'm generating an order. And it'll also default the date one to the current date. If there's a discrepancy, feel free to go ahead and choose a different date. You can always leave it as the default. You have a description box for any additional information that you want. You may have some best practices inside of your company about where to store additional notes and such. Um, you can do that from the note section of the quote record itself or the note section from within the order. You can also create an associated activity record if you need to store some additional information. This particular location may not be the most ideal, but then again, it's always up to your company about where you want to store the information. And then the third option is going to be the close or do not close opportunity option. So if you are using the opportunity functionality, I would always recommend choosing to automatically close the opportunity once this order is generated. This will let you go ahead and pull through either a noted actual revenue if you want to type it in yourself, or if you're using the products functionality and you have inventory associated inside of your system, I would always recommend calculating that particular actual revenue from the quote. This will go ahead and pull through the total amount from the quote record. And that is going to be generated based upon the number of products and the price of the products associated to the quote record. So from here, I'll go ahead and click OK. This will do two things. It'll go ahead and close that original quote and opportunity as one. So now my opportunity is closed inside the system without me even having to go back to it. And it's generated an order form for me inside of the system. So I now have an order created in association to this particular customer from that opportunity, from the quote. If I also have source campaign information, that's captured and associated as well. So all these particular pieces of information are linked because I'm generating these records from within the user interface ribbon. So this is my order form. As you can see, most of the information pulls over for me, so there's not much that I really need to be entering at this point in time. From here, I'd just be able to go ahead and fulfill the order, create an invoice if I need to. I can cancel it from here. Remember, you can always reactivate orders if you need to. If I make any changes, I can also go ahead and recalculate the order from here as well. But as you can see, most of the information pulled through because I associated the addresses from the quote level. They pull through. If I didn't have the addresses at the quote level, I do have a lookup address option from here. So I can, I can come back into the order and add the addresses if I need to. Also, if there's a change to the address. Let's say there's a change to any addresses that are associated here. I can go ahead and look up that address again and pull through the changes. If I want to take a look at all of the associated orders for this particular customer, I can come to the customer field, click on the company one, two, three hyperlink. It'll open up with the account record itself. And if I go to the left hand side navigation pane and scroll down to sales, click on the orders section, it'll go ahead and display all active orders, or at least currently that's what I'm filtering on. By default, it'll display all active orders associated with this particular customer. If I want to see all orders, I can change the filter on drop down in order to see everything. Note that whatever I see inside of this particular window, the associated view is going to be based upon both this particular drop down and the filter on drop down. So if I'm not seeing what I should be seeing, these should be the first two things that you're checking. Thank you for tuning in to Coffee Break CRM. I hope you enjoy the material. 
Be sure to check out our other videos that are available online.